Okay, we are going to take our finished sketch, and here is the sketch that I made of my spirit rattle that I want to create. And you've already finished yours life size um, to how you want it to be. So you will get a ball of clay, and I want you to divide it in half, equally in half, so you have two halves. Now, I've already made the bottom half, and how I made that was I took the one half and I just kept pinching pinching and pulling and turning it around in a circle while I pinched until you form up the sides like that. Now don't worry if it's a little bit crooked. See how there's gaps over here? Because you can just take it and turn it upside down and kind of gently drop it and it'll make a nice flat um, edge to it that you can attach the top half, bottom half to. So see how that kind of created a nice squared off edge? You can keep smoothing and pushing it around me a little more equal. You don't want to have any areas that are smaller than your pinky as a rule, thicker in thickness than your pinky, or thicker than your thumb from here to here. Because anything that goes in the kiln that thick, it could explode. We're gonna keep it from exploding by poking a hole in the bottom. So there's my top. And this was my bottom over here. And before I put them together, now let me also mention that it's probably a good idea to have it thicker than your pinky to start with. They are going to shrink about mm, 20 to 30 percent. So make it bigger than what you expect it to turn out to be because as they dry, they will shrink. And also, the next class period, we're going to be carving away some of the thickness of it. So you don't want any area to be too thin or you might poke right through. So before I put those two together, I'm going to make some balls that will be our little noise makers. So just take some clay, roll it in your hand like that in a circle, and have at least three balls in there. Now we're going to wrap them in a paper towel before we do that and the paper towel ends up burning away but this way the little balls won't get glued or stuck or dried to the edge of the inside of the rattle. So I've put it in the bottom and now I'm going to affix the top like that. But before I do that I need to do something called slipping and scoring. And this is what all clay artists have to do to make sure that the two pieces of clay stay stuck together or as they dry they're going to shrink and change and then they won't they'll fall off. I know a lot of you had things fall off in the last project like ears and that meant that they weren't slipped and scored enough. So we're going to you can score with anything that's got a point to it and just go over the edge of the area that you want to adhere and just go back and forth like that, making little score lines. That you want to connect, you have to slip and score. So now that's the scoring part. Actually, it should be score and slip, I should be saying. So we score first, and then we take some of the slip, which is just watered down clay, Stir it up, stir it up a little, and then you can use a brush, a lot of times our clay artists will use brushes, but we're going to use our popsicle sticks, and just make sure that you get it re-wetted. This slip is kind of like the glue, okay? Okay, so now 
now I've slipped and scored it, now I'm going to put the two ends together. And I'm gonna take a tool, any kind of tool, and just use it to kind of mash those two together. Now you can take your hands and you can smooth it gently as long as you don't push too hard. You can roll it, kind of tamp it down like I did to the top and the bottom edges. Take your thumb and kind of smooth it. You want to make sure that there are no cracks, no areas where it's not fused together. So I would just kind of take it and tamp it down gently. I can still tell that it's hollow inside and that my paper towels are not getting smashed down. Okay, and there we got the beginning of our spirit rattle.